I quickly am going to answer the question uh, in the chat that was dedicated to me. Yes, that's a dead cat on my bed. No, I'm joking. It's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping. Yes, that's a cat. <laughs> that is tiger for those of you who don't know. It's a tiger. The awesome, fierce little tiger. Because Iron Man cannot have a normal pet. It has to have a vicious... He had to breed it himself. <laughs> <laughs> this man is the most... I think we're ready to roll. Uh, pretty much every time we've done this, we have done a little round of introduction and it's the usual thing of, can you tell us something about yourself? And I think pretty much we've covered everything that each one of us can think of on this spot. So today I've thought we will start with something light and just a bit different in order for you guys to know more about the content creators that are here in front of you. And then we can transition to the office talk, updates and things that are meaty. And I have taken one question that I have added from the Discord. I've asked everyone to give me feedback if there's any question you'd like asked. And I've got one answer. So there's only one question that I've picked up on the Discord. Right, so without further ado, I'm going to quickly transition the panel so we can do something completely different. And three, two, one. Right. What do we have here? <laughs> Who can tell me or guess what sorts of game we're going to play for the introduction? Yeah, Who it's, am it's... I? <laughs> so, the first game we will play is called Who Am I? We have prepared three stories that you will see in front of you. And you have one task chat. You're going to look at the bubbles. I will read the contents. I have put some images on the side to help your imagination run wild. And I want you to think, first of all, answer the question of who these uh, bubbles, who these things come from. So you'll have to select one of the four of us, first of all. And then once you've identified who it is, then we're going to see which story of the three that we have in the screen is false. So there are two true ones, two real stories that have happened, and one that is a complete fabrication. Hello, Darcy, welcome to the chat. <laughs> <coughs> right, and for the first one, if we're all ready, we have... Uh, I'll assign someone at random to read the bubbles. Can you start us off, uh, Washington, just because you're next in line? Uh, should I read the bubbles? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. What's going on in the screen? When I was young, I had a cat called Tonic. Um, I didn't finish my degree in music because I was playing Dofus, and I spent the night drinking whiskey with Pink. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> the actual musician, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah what, what what else i supposed to no no that was it that was it so these three things okay. are are stories from one of us four one of them is false so your role is to make two guesses who's the one out of the four of us that has told these stories so who out of the four of us and the second task is which story is fake and i want to see some comments in the chat <laughs> And we are all playing because we also do not know what um, the which ones are true and which one aren't. <laughs> We've already got one. <laughs> Aslik's drinking with pink. Oh. <laughs> drinking whiskey. Oh, that's a really good one, Flammable. Yeah, that's a really good shout. <laughs> I mean, everything is alcohol related, so. <laughs> <laughs> Music. Uh, who of the four of us is musical, though? I can see the guitar in your background. Oh, no, that gave it away. <laughs> or, or is it? <laughs> just, to, just to make it clear for the chat, all three are from one person, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all of these three is one person, and he's yeah. told us three stories, one of which is a complete fabrication that we need to find as well. So we've got two votes. One for Eslix, one for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kitty Cat, what are you thinking? Mr. Black and Pink. Oh, okay, Andrea. Okay. <laughs> so Mr. Black can, and Pink. I, well, hold on. I can I can I can tell you a little bit of a hint actually, but is it a hint or is it like a drive-off? I'm gonna tell you that 
actually the musician Pink's uh, is or, origins are from Lithuania. Oh, we see. So, yes, actually, Ooh. her grandparents are Lithuanian. So <laughs> that might be a, a hint, or maybe not. I feel like you're throwing us off guard. Maybe it's you, but you're playing tr 300 IQ chess. Mm. <laughs> Who knows? Let the Washington chat mod, think. Mod, uh, <laughs> Look what, at that. Would it be um, a nice idea to do a poll so if you, everyone can like vote? Vote? Yeah, we could do a poll. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So poll. Yeah, then everybody can be can participate. Uh, the question is: Who is it, and which is? A lie. So the first one is S Lix or Elix. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Black. And single. Let's do let's do a quick poll just so we can first of all figure out just one minute poll. Who do we think it is, first of all? The poll is open at the top, and I am voting immediately for Eslix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's tilting toward Mr. Black. What's happening? Mr. Black is winning. 50%. Oh, what, what, what? Did not finish his fall. Oh, wow. <laughs> Send oh, wow. It's... <laughs> it's one minute. Quick, <laughs> quick, 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 quick. One minute vote. Mr. Black is still in the lead for some reason. 40%. Single malt with Ooh, Mr. Black. I'm tied. Ooh, <laughs> tight, tight. Goddamn. Nobody... We, we need at least one more vote, guys. Otherwise, it's a tie. <laughs> one more vote. One more vote. One more vote. 10 <laughs> seconds to go. <laughs> Nobody... Nobody got on my 10 end, seconds. So... <laughs> Come on, guys. Who is it? Oh, oh. Busy in life. Ah, you're both winners. Okay, Ooh. so we tied. We tied, we tied, we tied. I'm going to read the chat for what most people seem to think. So pink, pink again. The music thing, okay, music. Pink again. Pink four times. And the cat called Tonic. Right. I'm about to reveal right now who the person is, first of all. And then we will... Ask them to tell us the stories of each one of them and which one is a lie. And drum roll, the person is <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Black. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Black, the floor is yours. What is going on there? <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm guessing the one people are going to be most interested in is pink, by the sounds of it. Uh, okay, so I used to. Uh, be one of the managers of a whiskey bar when I was uh, living in Auckland and Pink was actually doing a show in the city on that uh, on that weekend Yo. and she walked into the bar it was something like a Tuesday night I had about 10 customers in there it was so quiet uh -huh. and she just she sat down on the bar we were all like, "What the hell? This is pink." <laughs> um, it was when it was when she literally had like the the pink mohawk at the time. Oh wow! And um, she sat down and just started drinking one after the other after the other. <laughs> and the bar <laughs> shut at two a.m. Wow! And, we, and all of the staff, all of the staff, and myself. Ended up sitting there until about six in the morning drinking whiskey with her. Wow! And wow! And she, I tell you what, she can drink. Wow! Yeah, she looked like it. Um, <laughs> did so yeah, she pay? Was fun. Did she fork the tab or? Uh, so we all got free drinks because we were staff and the owner was awesome. Uh, but she did pay her own tab. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. That's, That's nice. awesome. Yeah. That's actually not a sick story, though. That is a sick story. But you know what it doesn't do is tell us which one is false. <laughs> oh, and then so, uh, so I okay another one of the bubbles. So I studied um, a degree in music, and during my second year, um, I played far too much Dofus. <laughs> ended up. I passed my second year of uni, and I never went back. Wow. And I ended up going off traveling, and 
playing Dofus even more. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bad. T- bad time. Mm. And the third one is so I had a, yeah I had a cat called Tonic. He actually looked a little bit like yours, Washington. So full on kind of like orange ginger. And I would have been, oh, I would have been about 16 years old. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, he ended up actually <laughs> crossing over the road and getting hit Ooh. by a car. Um, so where's the lie yeah, in so, that? But um, but one funny story with this cat. So it used to follow me all the way down the street, across the park, over the bridge into town, and it would sit and wait in a tree while I would go do my shopping, things like that. On my way home, it wow. would pop out the, the tree and walk home with me. Wow, that's that's the oh. most dog cat I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Um, but one of those is a lie. <laughs> Which one is it? Ooh. Do you want me to? Re- do you want me yes, to yes, yes. Yeah, this is where you tell us. So we had a. I think we already have a correct answer. But go on, please do tell us. Uh, so the cat was not called Tonic. <laughs> the cat nice. was actually named Jin. Oh, that was very <laughs> subtle. It's well played. It's, bro- it's brother. That cat's brother was wow. called Tonic. Wow. Okay, Jin and Tonic at home. <laughs> oh wow. I think That's Andrea fun. got it right. Andrea got the right answers for that you have a knack for these things that's awesome (laughs) right on to the second one and should we pick someone else to read would you like to do the reading uh aslix yeah i'm fine i'll do the reading for this one so just i'm going by uh, order just in the camera setup really all right i lived in japan solo for four months i appeared in rush hour three scene in paris (laughs) <laughs> and I was knocked out with a table tennis ball. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to run a quick poll again. Right yeah, you can start <laughs> the poll and then uh, we can... Uh... The question is, who is it? And again. Oh, now, now I'm going to only put th- uh, three options because we know that Mr. Black is uh, out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna add him anyway, <laughs> and the poll hey, is up. Again. <laughs> <laughs> we have yes, one minute. Vote, 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 vote. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta expose my friend. Oh, we've got four votes for Washington. One for us. How, How is that possible? Five and one. <laughs> Seven and no. one. Wow. <laughs> We have a troll vote for Mr. Black, because you never know. <laughs> One it for me. me. Mm. 100% it says Wait. I'm telling you. Yes, who is old enough to be in Rush Hour 3? <laughs> <laughs> right. um, oh, table tennis ball. I misclicked. <laughs> yeah, because we have a vote for Mr. Black. We should not have been there at all. So nine <laughs> votes for Washington. That is Jesus awesome. Christ. Jesus Christ, chat, you're, you're on yeah. fire. You're <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to react right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys right. think well, I live in, in, in Paris or do you think I'm... And the answer is... Traveler? Let's go! The chat chat guessed it right with the vast majority picking Washington. Nine votes for Washington. (laughs) The floor is yours, Washington. Can you tell us the three stories and tell us which one is fake? (laughs) Uh, Sure. So, okay, I'll start from the from the Japan trip. So it was 2021 at the start of it um, in the January. I one day I woke up, I had nothing to do, and where this thing hit me, I decided to buy a one side ticket to Japan. And I did it. And I left in a week. And I stayed there for four months without plan, without nothing. I solo traveled around Tokyo. Um, I lived in a, in a hostel. I visited various places, uh, anime things, everything in, in Tokyo. Wow. So, yeah. 
So that was my complete solo trip without <laughs> nobody's help. I went there without a plan, just with one, uh, with one bag. And yeah, that's, that's the story for it. And I stayed there for four months uh, until the COVID hits and I had to come back to my country <laughs> because I couldn't stay there longer. Just a quick one. I have started a poll for the three uh, stories so you can vote while he's telling us all about them. Oh, it's <laughs> Carry on. The timer Carry going. On. Okay, so <laughs> two minutes, two uh, minutes. <laughs> I appeared in a rush hour. So when I was younger, in 2000, I can't remember what year was it, but I was very, very young and uh, I was with my mother uh, in Paris, uh, we were on a trip, just a holiday trip, mm -hmm. and there was like a, a guide bus and we were circling around the Arc of Triumph and we actually saw the scenes of Fresh Hour Free being uh, filmed there and I swear <laughs> to God in one of the scenes a little bus is seen driving away and in that bus was me so it wasn't really appearance <laughs> as it is but it was quite an appearance. <laughs> and okay for the last one. I was knocked out with the table tennis ball, so I was at my family's gathering, and mm -hmm. I had younger cousins, and we had like a table tennis table uh, out the outside, and we actually played the tennis, and I and I hit with a ball to my <laughs> cousin's head, but he started crying, and he hit me back, and he actually hit in my I don't know this area. But it's very sensitive, and I actually got knocked out for a minute oh or two. Oh my god. You so, are yeah. so convincing. I don't know which one is a lie. <laughs> Absolutely have no idea. But the chat vote is in and people Jesus have voted Christ. for Rush Hour. They are thinking you lied about the bus story and being part of the movie. <laughs> so which wow. one was it really? <laughs> oh. Actually, the fake story was the tennis <laughs> what? ball thing. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> Who am I? I never get knocked out, man. The hell? <laughs> Iron yeah, Man does not lose ball. consciousness. <laughs> never. Yeah. Um, so, uh, quick recap. So, yes, I actually what? went to Japan. was a complete actual serious thing. I went to Japan wow. by myself. Uh, with the rush hour free, it actually happened. It was a trip with my mom to the, to the front and... and the guide bus was circling around Tri Arc of Triumph and we actually wow. saw the Wow, that is spectacular. Honestly, I can tell you what I voted for. It was the Rush Hour one as well. Like the others. <laughs> I voted for I think... the Japan one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, same. I think Did we need to find a screenshot and see if we can see him on that bus. I'll yeah. tell you what, we want everyone on this. I will watch the movie just to see if I can spot him. I'll That's be looking crazy. for buses. <laughs> It's a, small, it's a small, <laughs> tiny, tiny bus, but I remember that was it. So, now, let me ask you. Of it. Oh, do you know the timestamp so we can verify this? No, uh, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. I, I actually forgot about this thing. I just remember today because, well, it was the occasion to do one. Were you young one. enough that we would not uh, recognize you if we saw you? Or you wearing a solo monk or something that would tip us off? <laughs> no, uh... You, can, you it's not i'm not visible it's what like small small tiny bus that's okay. visible so ah, okay okay like, okay okay i'm not but <laughs> i know that that bus looked exactly like mine and i remember the shooting scene so <laughs> maybe i was not get exactly there oh, that's awesome can you tell us the story of the photo though are <laughs> you demolishing the rap <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i sent this picture to my uh, girlfriend uh, when i was making the tortilla wraps with the chicken <laughs> so also i was always sending uh, silly pictures to my as simple as that yep. mr black yes. do you want to read the next three bubbles for us please yeah go for it <clears throat> uh okay so i fell out of a ski lift and made two made, made two stories drop when i was five years old and had to go to the hospital in a helicopter Ooh. uh my first ever ski vacation with my girlfriend, a car broke down and we had to be towed away and cancel the vacation. And I once made it into a newspaper in Austria. Oh, I picked the wanted um, image yeah. on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start a quick poll. That, we, we are already getting a theme there of skiing. And I think... Uh, do, we need, do, we need a, do we need a poll though? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Maybe it's it's Mr. Black all the way in Australia. <laughs> I wasn't always in Australia. 
Skiing. Skiing I'm going to put here. a one minute poll so we can get quick fire votes because this I think I feel like this was one of the easiest ones out there. Holy shit, the yeah. votes are all unanimous. Elix. <laughs> Elix. Oh, everybody knows you too well. I feel like we got the answer already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll for wait the for the minute. I'm actually quite good at snowboarding, so... What, in sand? <laughs> in sand? Uh, no, I did a, did a, uh, done a few trips to Bulgaria, Scotland, um, things like that. Snowboarding, yeah, it was great fun. Nice, nice. I feel like uh, Andrea again slipped and picked Mr. Black when we know it can't possibly be. <laughs> right, we shall reveal this one very quickly, and... Chad was absolutely right. It was S legs. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you want to tell us a story of each one of them while I prepare the poll to see which which one people think is fake? Yeah. So I'm gonna start with the first one. Um, I started skiing at a very young age. I think it was like three or four years old. And when I was five years old, I think it was a week or two before my sixth birthday. Um, we went, they were, I think it was actually the first time that I was skiing alone with my parents. And I was in the ski lift with my, uh, with my dad and he was actually filming. And right before we had to leave the lift, he actually um, put the bar up, you know, the ski bar, he put it no. up. And because I was so small, I had to like <laughs> go a little bit to the front of the seat. I slipped under the bar and I fell down like what five or six meters down. And I had to be, um, I had to go to the hospital by helicopter. <gasps> that is shocking. Yeah. So the other story is my first ever ski vacation where I went with my girlfriend, like where we went together. Mm. Our car broke down literally like. 20 kilometers when we just uh, crossed the border to Germany and <laughs> our car had to like be towed back home we had to cancel the entire vacation like our first vacation <laughs> wow can I just say this story has been picked up in the chat as the fake one before you even finished but not because it didn't happen but because they don't believe you have a girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I actually do have a girlfriend though, so that's not the part that's fake though, if it's, uh, no, no, no. Um, also, the third story is, um, it's not related to skiing, but it is related to Austria. So all of those are related to Austria, of course. Um, there was like once where, when we were younger, we were going to like an animal park and there was like a big road that was going into the mountains and it was like a... Um, how do you call it? Like the Tour de France, but not that. But it was like something similar, but in Austria. Uh -huh. And there were like journalists on the side of the road that, that wanted to make a picture of us with flags. So they gave us the flags, wanted to uh -huh. make a picture of us. And they said, if you do this, you're going to be in the in the newspaper. No. We were like, okay, we're going <laughs> to do that. And I think two days later, we picked up the newspaper and we were like on one of those pages uh, with our flags. Awesome. And we still have the newspaper. Awesome. So you have a newspaper from Austria with your image on it in one of the yep. Tour de France equivalent. So yep. the chat has voted. They don't think you have a girlfriend and they don't think yeah, you went on decided. vacation with your imaginary girlfriend and they don't think your imaginary girlfriend and your imaginary vacation happened to have a car that broke down in the existing country of Germany. So tell us which one is like. The people spoke <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I do have a girlfriend. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, wait, what? Which newspaper? Gonna f well, it's old. It's like it's. I think it's almost like 15 years old. The newspaper. So uh, I don't think you can get it. So, yeah. but the newspaper one is actually true. Yeah. That's just a true story. Yeah. Um. Cool. The um, yeah. The car broke down. So I do have a girlfriend. We actually the first <laughs> holiday we actually went together because our actual first holidays were still together with my parents. But then we mm. actually went together, and our car actually did break down. My car. Oh. Ooh. And we did get towed off. So that happened. Okay, but the you didn't cancel the vacation. Is, <laughs> the only, no, the only thing that's a lie here is we didn't have to cancel the vacation. <laughs> we actually did like a lot of calls and we managed to like um, rent a car for the rest of the week and we, we still managed to go on holiday. That's awesome. 
So yeah, there that's... was an ad break. At the we moment, had the so. the the ski okay. lift story uh, where I fell off, fell out of. is actually a true story. Oh wow! I see and you're the, sad. And the helicopter thing. Yeah, I the helicopter you. thing as well. I had to. Sp it was also the last day of the holiday, so my parents had to like um, make arrangement to stay uh, longer, and I had to spend the night in the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, I Not see. Now. I see your little plushes, uh, Washington, and I'm raising the cross to a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> no, to China, to China. Send, Send it away. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Kachka is saying that he does believe that you fell out of the ski lift because of how much you played office. That is a sign of brain damage. <laughs> 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 the amount that we do spend in the game definitely indicates all of us has, have fallen when we were kids and on our heads as well. Well, that's a bummer. No, because we know everyone has already gone and there's only one option left. So I'll do the reading given that everybody has. Oh, do you want to do the reading, Mr. Black? I can do, yeah, sure. Yeah, go on. Uh, so, uh, wait, well, there's a pretty strong chance who this is going to be. Uh, I walk 60 miles in a day to buy some weed at uni. Respect. Uh, <laughs> I, married, I married my wife five months after meeting her. I have five kids from two previous marriages. Oh. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a poll up <laughs> just in wait, case. Wait, wait, hold on. It's. <laughs> what? S Malt, what the hell? Those are pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't. What? Right, I've started the poll, so go and vote, 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 vote. <laughs> it's Mr. Black oh. again. <laughs> That's the best answer in the chat. <laughs> so Malt. Wait, is Malta Stoner? <laughs> well, he's an alcoholic, so are you surprised? <laughs> or or he, he, he's an actual ladies' man. Mm. No, honestly, there's no... Okay, I... Be, okay. All I devices, Washington. The second, the second one has to be the one that's the truth here, because the other two are like... Yeah. Ridiculous. Wait, hold on. No, but one of, the, one of them are lie only, and two are truth. Yeah, but who I would walk. Who would walk sixty miles? Sixty miles is like what, seventy yeah. kilometers. That's ridiculous. Kilometers. Yeah. No, a mile is what? Uh, one point six. <laughs> one point six. Yeah, and if you use the Fibonacci sequence, you can convert between kilometers and miles easily. So one is three, three is five. Ah. Uh. Yeah. That dropped the mode, and the winner is single malt. Yes, everybody called it. I have tied with myself apparently. <laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> That's a very cool joke. <laughs> right. There's no way you walk. By the way, it is not even possible to walk that much in a day. In a it single day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. Wait, uh, is it? Right. Hey. So, okay. it's story time, isn't it? Let's light up the fire. Congregate, because Grandpa Single is about to tell a story. <laughs> right. Oh, I'll start wow. with the first one. So, I used to study in this uh, university that was at the top of a hill. It's called the Little Switzerland for a reason because it snowed all the time there. It's a clean, tiny, small city with a big university. But what came with that is every now and then would be cut from civilization. You can't walk to the nearby cities and everything would just be shut down. You'd go to the taxi place or the bus places and they'd be like, we can't move because all the roads are closed. We're at the top of the hill. And back in the time, Washington called it, I was a mega stoner. I used to smoke weed immediately after I opened my eyes. And the last thing I did before I closed my eyes was a little puff and put a joint for the morning. So I used to be a mega stoner with a Rastafarian hat and everything to go with it. So that was the culture I was part of at university. And one day it snowed so bad, like one of those um, snows that make the headlines, you know, like unprecedented level of snow. And we were cut. And they said that it was going to be at least three to four days before we actually could uh, be connected to other cities. And I'd run out of weed. So what I've done is I've put all of my gear on. <laughs> I put my biggest boots for the snow and I just walked it until... About 40 miles in, I bet it took me about 9 to 10 hours, I finally got to a stretch of road that wasn't affected by the snow. And I've, um, uh, you know, what do you call that? Auto stop when you pull your uh, thumb up and then somebody stops for you and picks them, picks you in their car. Mm -hmm. check. Oh. Uh, yeah, car, car something. 
Yeah, you get you get the point. And the second one is uh, when I was at university here in the UK, not very long ago, I saw this really really cool looking girl, and I just went to her and I was like, I'd like to take you out. And she couldn't believe the arrogance and straightforwardness. She was like, nobody's ever talked to me like that. I don't think this is going to work. I was like, no, it is going to work. Here's how, we, here's how we're going to do it. We're going for a p to the pub where we're going to have a pint each. And then we're going to go to this restaurant that I want to try. And then by the end of it, she proposed. She said, we should definitely get together and get married at some point in the future. That's the second oh, wow. story. And five months later, we were already married. And the last one is the one I'm least proud of. When I was 18, as it is customary in most Muslim countries, is you get married off immediately so you don't do bad things with your life and all the hormonal changes and everything. So I was married immediately at the age of 18. And then two years later, after having had two kids with that lady, I decided I want to go to university just to escape that scenery. I did not like living in a married place at such a young age. So I wanted to discover myself and go to university. And there, within five months, I also met another lady that wanted to get married. So I divorced the first one because you can have a relationship without being married in Morocco. So I had to divorce the first one, keep looking after the children and then get married again. And we had three years over the next four and a half years. And then I was sick of that marriage and decided to up and leave to the UK. And that's where I met my wife five months later and got married for the third time. <laughs> right, I'm going to put a poll together. <laughs> I'm seeing the shock and silence in your guys' faces. <laughs> you no, know, it's actually hard though, man. I feel like the, oh, the, the weed one has to be fake. Weed one? You walk. actually think he has five kids, man. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> because he said he said something. If I'm right here, <laughs> I, I I called it because of something he mentioned. I'm no you way. Might have I, I swear it. to God. I no 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 no. Don't don't do that. I no. I, I can't believe it, bro. No. Don't <laughs> do this to me. Nah, bro. No, this I'm, is I'm awesome. <laughs> now nah, weed walk. Weed walk is, a, is is possible. Have you no, seen the people missed, that are actually no. desperate for weed? They can do like 700 miles a day, bro. They would run. Holy so, shit. <laughs> wow. We, we, we've definitely learned some stuff about malt today, though. <laughs> <laughs> At least two out of three things were true. <laughs> I can't believe people are actually... Oh, what the hell? They're actually thinking that five kids from malt is possible like that. Well, do you think I he do, walks I 60 miles in a day? Who the fuck walks 60 miles? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Alan. The five kids definitely true. <laughs> what is it about my face that tells you I've no, got, no, no. I've got Alan, half a Alan football is... team worth of children? Hold on, guys. Alan is biased. You cannot take shit. <laughs> yeah, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who the fuck has five kids by the time uni ended? <laughs> Mark does oh, look God. like he can... <laughs> no. Imagine uh, married five months after meeting wife is the fake one, is the lie. That would be actually... Really? You can mind. vote as well because we haven't told each other which ones were fake or true. And I have been voting all this time, so you can also vote. Also, Holy Mark, shit. if the first story is true, you need to tell me the store where you bought your clothes. The store where I bought my yeah, clothes? Where, because if you walk like, like 10 plus hours in the snow, then you have, yeah. those, those clothes has to be uh, real quality. Uh, I still remember the boots. I got them from Caterpillar. You know those big, um, mm -hmm. we call them the cats because you can step on nails or fire and they would not be damaged or anything. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. And I also remember vividly walking when it started to get dark because it's a forest area nearby. I started healing the uh, hearing the wolf howling and I just got scared and started running <laughs> with my torch open just to scare them if they ever decided to attack. What? That was fucking what scary. What year are we living in? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bro. Like, it's just like medieval. And hold on, one second. I have a. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. Like, what time of the year? Like, it's now, so it's pro probably was in the winter time, right? Around winter, yeah, yeah, yeah. November. So in winter, in winter time, if I'm correct, uh, you wait. You was in uni, right? What country was in uni? I, I was sort of hoping you wouldn't start to get into the science of wolves and things like that. <laughs> nah, nah, bro, nah, bro. <laughs> if you're in winter time and you're uh, in this hemisphere, it will start to uh, going dark at five, five p.m. Mm. Uh, especially if it snows and it's cloudy, yeah. and then you had to walk for like uh, 
10 okay, plus okay, okay, hours. Okay, 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 okay. So the chat has voted and they have picked the lie. <laughs> The lie is that I have five kids from two previous marriages. <laughs> In fact, I do not have five kids and I have not been married twice before this one. Oh, so God. that was an absolute shocking, stinking lie. Thank you, Alan, for your faith, though. <laughs> and you yeah. see, Elix, Elix <laughs> believed that. What the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell, it was man? like he, he could do worse. He does, like, <laughs> uh, he does look like someone who can have five kids in two minutes. <laughs> who, who you take for? Like, what the hell, man? Come on. <laughs> Which Alan story is believe. worse though? Like, which so, story is worse? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It, those are... you, Malt, you picked two stories that are actually very, very, very close by and I couldn't figure out which one. Because, which one was... <laughs> because one just sounds so, so horrible and another sounds even more horrible and it's impossible. Like, what? How? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So, um... Uh, back to your question, Airfall. Yeah, so everybody's curious about the weed story. Everything about it is absolutely true. I was a mega stoner. I used to wear a Rasta hat to go to classes. I used to rent a house on my own so people would come and hang out with and smoke weed in peace, nice. not being harassed. And one day we were told that the, the road was going to be closed for four days and I just panicked. I looked at one of my friends that used to rent the house with me who stay around a lot. I was like, we need to do something about it. So we put our clothes on, our bags, we got some money on. And he was like, let's go at least and check with the cabbies. Will they try and venture through the ice? They were like, nope, absolutely not, kid. Not before tomorrow, at least, when it clears up. And then we just started walking in the right direction. We had GPS, we had phones, and we were walking. And I think about 20 to 30 miles in, after so many hours, we lost count. We sang all the songs. We, we did everything we could to keep uh, ourselves entertained. We started seeing better roads that were not affected by the ice as much. Because remember, I was at the peak of the mountain, and we walked down. So there were places that were better managed for the roads and everything. And then we started just I don't know if you guys do this but if you're in a road and you just pull your uh, thumb up someone might stop and pick you up and we'd had people pick us up for 20 minutes and drop us off when they take a turn or something like that and we just kept walking and taking random people pick us up until we got to the eventual destination and slept over there <laughs> yeah <laughs> I've changed a lot since <laughs> Wow. yeah so that was the first section. Now I'm going to go back to our usual view for the remainder of the conversation. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've found out a bit more about who these four brilliant people are. <laughs> the guy with gin and tonic as cats, the guy who skis and falls from heights, <laughs> and the guy with the tiger cat that is a movie star secretly. <laughs> Cool, if you've enjoyed this, we might do more of it in the future. But for now, I do propose taking a quick three to five minutes break and then coming back to actually talk about the game, the questions that you guys have put forth and some interesting things that have happened in the month since we last got together and spoke in this format. We are ready for the next phase. I hope you had a good break because what's coming is rather meaty. And I wanted to start with a crucial question. Last time we've done this was about a month and a week, so about five weeks ago, and a lot has happened since. Why? Because I've been on the Discord and I've seen some of the crazy images you've posted, some of the achievements you've done, some of the teams you started. Let's take turns and just have a quick summary of... Uh, hold on one second. Hello, just dropping into my share my outreach as some of the thought. It was unbelievable that Malt had five kids then Mary. <laughs> Single my wifey, you weren't meant to listen to this one. <laughs> oh my god. In shambles. <laughs> Thank you for passing by though. Good sleep. Bye bye. bye, -bye. You're, you're in trouble now, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there will be some questions asked later. Mm. <clears throat> uh, let's take turns. Whoever wants to start and just sort of summarize what has been happening with you for the last five weeks. What have you been doing in the game? What sorts of new things have you tried? What were some of the achievements you've reached? Anybody would fancy starting? I have a spicy one. Mm. Mm. Not a spicy one. The, I, I was sharing all about all, all around the Discord with that one. But 
with my Iron Man team, I finally managed to do Nyleza Dungeon and Miss Freeze Dungeon. Whoa! By myself. Yes, nice. at level 170, it was pretty <laughs> crazy, pretty crazy. And, uh, I didn't expect that to be done by now after several tries, but but uh, luck was on my side one day, and I actually managed to do it. That is awesome! So, yeah, uh, level 170. Yeah, level 170. So uh, two characters are level 170, the others are 167. So yeah, I'm I'm getting them to 170 right now. That's and awesome. uh, the next thing is I uh, recreated my dream teams again, uh, but this time is a long range composition and I'm trying to have more fun. And actually, I opened a few chests and I pulled a kick ass legend, which is brilliant. So that's not a lot of news, <laughs> but that's definitely the highlights. Yeah, that's awesome. But that means you've uh, you're playing, you're switching between Iron Man team and uh, started doing dreams, I presume, with your level two hundred uh, characters. Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, it's just like uh, in between uh, changing of the of of the environment in Dofus. You know, um, sometimes I do some content on Iron Man, but when I a bit tired of grinding, you know, uh, I just go and go super good damage in dreams <laughs> that's awesome i like a respite a place where you take a break from level exactly. 160 yeah, awesome see big numbers <laughs> that's awesome anybody else has anything burning that they'd like to tell us about like a summary of their last month and one week what have you been up I did to emerald and crimson quest oh exciting with your level 200 characters yeah <laughs> Not, nothing too special though. <laughs> <laughs> what are you prepping for? Uh, full no, not full achievement. Like six out of six at least, and then probably Sylvan Dovus. I want them on all characters. That's my end goal. But it's gonna take ages. So yeah, this week I started the Iron Man team again as well, and now I'm, my goal is to get level eighty. I saw you did a dungeon today that was higher level than your actual characters. Yeah, I am. I was level 63 and I did Nelween and Gurlo, which are both level 70 dungeons. Oof! That You're was following. crazy. Yeah. yeah. You've got you the know what? OG uh, stamp. I would like to see you doing scanty achievement for the Gurlo at level 80. Hopefully. Oh, did you do, you, did you do it done? I guess I, so, did, I did it on, at level 100, so mm -hmm. I I was a bit you know later than uh, you think. But if you can manage it, that would be amazing. That would be actually really cool because Scanty is very very annoying, as you know. The problem with Scanty is going to be the fact that you don't really have a lot of spells. So if you have like two or three spells in an element and you need to kill like something, then at some point you don't have any spells left. Let me uh, let me give you a quick tip on that. Uh, you can use a good synchro movement by Zealor. I think if you can arrange by RNG and lock uh, the mobs next to it, you can one shot the side mobs. But uh, SRAM could do a pretty good uh, barrel positioning and locking the boss in the corner as well. So mm, maybe. So, the, uh, the real question is, do I want yeah. to do it? Cause uh, are you up to challenge? I think that would be very, very good uh, to show people what are you capable of. A challenge should also be fun. Like I, like soloing Nilesa sounds fun, but doing this doesn't sound fun. I mean, if you, if you need some motivation from other people to give you challenges to do something, uh, maybe you have fire my then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna think of many maybe of I'll those. think about it. It depends on. Uh, so um, people suggested that I should change because uh, I was planning to have the uh, Xelor agility at level eighty, but people suggested me to go strength because of dark gray. Do you agree? Strength, strength. Yeah, uh, later on. Yeah, it's 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 pretty good. It's yeah. the dark gray. He gives uh, unbelievable damage. But it then I had to make. I have to make the SRAM agility then. Um, not necessarily. I want ev I want one character every element now. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so if you get but... if you get poison, that's that's okay with uh, uh with the SRAM. Because... What are you saying, Airfall? 
At level 65, Aji also can solo 8 underwater mobs. What? You're talking Holy... about the Bethel area? Nah. Or is that a Cthulhu sort of yep. area? Yep. It's a Spongebob's area, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives in pineapple under the sea? <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm seeing a lot of uh, Iron Man themes running right here. It's like the OG Iron Man is converting as many people as he can to his cause, and he's winning. That's the that's the scary part. Is oh, crazy, all of us guys, at some challenge point. Yourself. <laughs> challenge yourself, guys. Push to the limits. You will find your happiness in the go doing Iron Man. Mr. Black. We've not seen too much of you, I imagine, because work has been busy. It's the most hectic yeah. period of the year, I imagine. But what it's have you been, been able to achieve? Uh, so, firstly, I've moved house. So, my internet is so much better now. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, being able to actually uh, have a, an actual room, which is mine, the house uh, I'm renting, it's me on the lease, and... Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing uh, getting out of my previous place. Brilliant. But I've, pl I've played Dovis whenever I get a chance to. Mm -hmm. um, I actually made some pretty uh, uh, big strides. Go so on. Give us the top three at least. One. Okay, so the PVM video uh, tier list I made uh -huh. um, has absolutely destroyed my previous record. Uh, looking at it now, it's at 6.1k 6 views. Wow, I'm going wow. to link it in the chat so we can give it a little bit of more, more of a push Absolutely. for people who've missed it. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it is all down to opinion. Um, that's what but, tier lists hey, that's, are. That's, that's part of the fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then I have re I released a video a couple of days ago, uh, which is for my, my, next, uh, my next big live stream, uh, which is going to be my birthday. Um, one year anniversary of being a content creator for Dofus. That's awesome. Which wow. there's there's currently a hundred and fifty <laughs> mil in the pot. Oh, wow! Sweet. Let's go. It's is it in your channel? Can people go and find out more details about when and uh, how to participate? Yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I'll copy and paste my channel into the. Uh, into your chat, if that's right with you, mate. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I've already posted the video if anybody wants to see yet another controversial tier list, and we've had a fair share with Washington yeah. rocking no, the no. Dolphins community with his tier list. <laughs> oh my god, I just I just completely destroyed my <laughs> reputation with my controversial <laughs> But it's a fun one. I, I promise it's a fun one. And yes. If you see the little plushie on uh, Single Malt's <laughs> screen right now, that deserves to go to China. <laughs> oh my god, I got yeah. some bashing in the Discord and yeah. Reddit. Wow. Yeah. Everywhere. People are passionate about their own classes. They don't want to see yes. them anywhere else than us. But again, you can't have a tier list with everyone at the top and <laughs> then call it a day. Exactly. You prefer this one, I guess. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, we will. The announcement and the at the end will have something to do with these plushies. But please, let's not interrupt, Mister Black. Carry on. You've okay. mentioned the and video that blew up, the upcoming yep. uh, giveaway on your channel that people can find out by following the link down there. What else have you got for us? And as some people might have noticed, I'm I've not been releasing quite as many videos on my YouTube. Mm -hmm. I am so, as I remember, I said last stream, um, for the last podcast. I am so slowly working through six out of six and all the egg quests on my Elio. Wow. Uh, just so I can record all of the tactical fights and the really difficult ones oh. that uh, need guides. Um, so I am actually saving up all these videos. And That's awesome. Once they're all done, I will start releasing them. Oh. And there will be a six and there will be a six out of six complete guide for everything. Wow, but that's it, a shocker! It, it is Amazing. Take time. Mm. Um, so currently, oh, I am including Volbis in that as well. Um, so so far since I've started it, the Emerald, Crimson, Turk, and Volbis are done. Nice. Uh, Ebony, I am up to the Crocoburra fight at the moment. Ooh, tough one. Can we expect to see that on the next stream? You face 
Crocomurio. <laughs> I I will be streaming that tomorrow. Oh, let's go! For people who are stuck in that quest for years, this is your chance to find out how a yeah. pro PVM player will do it with relative ease in any number of accounts and uh, characters. Oof. Bloody yeah, awesome! This is gonna pressure, be like the Bamish the video well. where I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> Mr. Black can nail it easily. Yeah, how do you I, mean? I was, I was going to say, it's going to be like the Bamish video where it takes two years to make a single video. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Black is great. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that. Uh, well, I just imagine the editing I'm going to have to do once I've got all this yeah. sorted. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, going to be a good few days worth of editing, I think. That's awesome. We'll be looking, I myself will be looking forward to that, given that I'm doing six out of six. And everybody by now knows how slowly I progress <laughs> in my quests. So by the time you're finished making the videos, I'll be at the Crocoburia stage and benefit from your guide. That's awesome. Thank you very Great. much for that. I'll be looking forward to it. Thanks, Mr. Black, for contributing and helping the Cheers. community. Awesome. Yes. Big project. Yeah. Um, uh, there was one thing that has happened recently that I had an opinion on. And then before I had the chance to tell the world what that opinion was, I saw that there was a conflicting uh, scene. People were divided on this topic. They were like, what? This is awesome or this is complete rubbish. We need to get out of it. It's the new beta that Dofus has released as part of the 271 update. What was your take on the way they've completely revamped that thing? <laughs> Not the trans AP and MP Allen. We'll come to that. <laughs> 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 the new better the way they've done it where it is a test environment without you having to port your characters have your gear and feel like it's just a continuity of play what did you guys think about that if you have any thoughts at all i think it was pretty good though but Go on. expand it is on much what you easier think. to test but um i would say for for the majority of the player base it is better but if you are a person who already has all the equipment, mm. it is actually worse because you have to like buy everything, make new ensembles, um, and and such. Yeah, I see. For me personally, it would be easier to just transfer my own character and test the sets that I already have. <clears throat> I'm right? seeing a theme of Eslix continuing to be out of touch with the poor, ordinary man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody I has a billion commas. <laughs> <laughs> but also, for even if you look at the people who don't have that, like testing with perfect items is not mm. realistic, though. Mm. So, I just, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. But it and is but a nice way to just test like different sets that you might normally not like test so if i wanted to like um test age old and what was the other set age old and um, acham. acham if i wanted to test that i can test it on bad and uh, it's gg right but yeah okay uh washington what did you think when the battle rolled out did you give it any try did you engage with it um well as being an iron man i didn't really get on beta just because uh, I don't really have a lot of stuff to test for myself, mm -hmm. uh, except uh, the Fogernaut that has the change. So once I logged into beta just to try it on 200 level Fogernaut and what's going on, it looked pretty okay. I didn't test too much, but I mm -hmm. I, I was looking at at the spells and I noticed that there is gonna be more elemental spells than it was before. Mm -hmm. uh, so that gave me more uh, more of a reason to plan out uh, my future fights and uh, maybe I can use elemental builds instead you know, of the Omni, most used one. Yeah. Even at level 160, I could still use Omni and it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't really want to spoil the experience of figuring out myself because uh, being Iron Man, Iron Man, I cannot really buy all the gear i just have to craft it and i don't know when it's gonna happen to craft you know what I, what i really want or need so yeah. most of the time i have to improvise and uh, and uh, yeah a beta doesn't really give me that much so mm -hmm. i'd rather just keep it uh, uh, a surprise for myself maybe if i miss something or or like yeah 
So yeah. I'm gonna just test it out in a in a real game when the updates go live. Go when live. they release the final thing, that's awesome. I want to yeah. put this question to chat, please, guys. Uh, bang it on your keyboard. Bash your answer to this. Do you guys test the beta? Yes or no? Do you test the beta? Do you engage with it? Do you are you curious about trying sets that you don't have in the real game? What what's your interaction with the beta, or is it just something that passes you by until the release of the new game and then you read the change logs? Nice. Personally, ne never logged a single time, Sevi. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you were personally, I, just, I feel like generally, like testing is okay, but in depth testing, there's no point in it because they change it like two days later. Yeah, I see what you mean. There is that aspect to it. The videos that I did on the FECA changes, they are already outdated. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear, Nevalon, that they've not yet given you the sacri that you wanted. <laughs> That's absolute pain. But I do join Eslix in that if you test the beta, you have to think about it differently. It's not a normal game mode. It's changing more than you would expect the game to change. It's daily. So this mm -hmm. spell might gain an AP, it might lose range. Things do change very, very frequently. And it's something not most of us are used to. So it's a bit shocking of an environment. And we tend to return back to the safety of the normal game. It's actually better. I, oh, that's really good then. Uh, Mr. Black, back to that question. What have you done with the beta since it has been released? Is it something you're into? Are you curious about the changes? Do you test stuff in there or do you just not engage with it? I will be very honest, I logged on it for about 10 seconds. Okay. Um, <laughs> just because of my work and stuff like that, I haven't had a proper chance to actually go through it. Um, mm. But if I do get a chance over the next couple of days, then yeah, I might have a little look, but um, I'm pretty much just going to wing it. Those are the last two days you have to test because on Tuesday, the 26th, the, after the maintenance, 2.71 will roll out and we will have all the changes finalized and the new version rolled out. No going back. That is awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I wanted to give my thoughts, first of all, about the beta. I found that the way they've changed, um, the way you access it previously, you would have your own character. I felt like that was the only thing that was stopping me from engaging with the beta, the fact that you had your character and it felt like a continuity of the game. And I did not like that. But now they've created an artificial test environment that you can go into without any emotional attachment or barriers and then try everything. And if things aren't right, you uh, raise them as a bug, they get changed and things get modified there at a fast, uh, at a pace that is so fast for most content creators and I, I include myself because I've done the FECA test then I've talked about every spell not changed and before I got the chance to post the video all of those things were changed <laughs> so I never got the chance to post it yeah so it is a fast paced environment that was great for the very first time it has gotten me properly into testing and seeing what changes are made and in that regard I give it a 10 I appreciated it a lot Skill issue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I've removed the redeemables because we have uh, four screens going on at the moment. Yeah. And I thought having chat and things on top of that would be a bit too much. So I've completely removed all actions and things of that nature. Also, cool. uh, go on. Yeah, go on, go on. Sorry. No, sorry no, 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 please, please, please. Before we move on to something else, but yeah, please give us your thoughts. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just talking about this, some same things you want to talk about. Uh, since I can see we're peaking in numbers, uh, maybe we can give our chat some uh, very, very nice announcement and news that's going to be upcoming in, in the near future. Sure, sure. Would you like to be the spokesperson for this next bit then? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I have to pass it to you because <laughs> no, you're no, my no. friend or one of the you best have brought hosts it. online. No, I no, insist, no, no. I insist. Give us the headlines and I'll take it from there if you don't want to tell the whole thing. Okay, so uh, just uh, give additions when I finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so uh, chat, we have a big announcement in the near future and hopefully months time. Uh, I'm just giving a rough idea. We'll be having a podcast with the actual Ankama developers. We will have a podcast with Manaya and Papino. So you should look forward to it because it will be amazing. It will be crazy. And 
it is unprecedented event for all of us, especially for the English community. And I hope you will enjoy that. And yeah, uh, that would be a crazy first-hand experience with the actual, well, devs, CMs, uh, I can see Alan, you're writing, but yeah, it's the both actually, <laughs> because uh, Manaya is a as community manager and Papinot is actually a developer, mm -hmm. as I remember correctly. Elite so, dev. yes. Um, so yeah, guys, so there's a like, technical cool. side and there's like a community uh, side of it. So we we will hope a lot of questions, we'll hope a lot of uh, topics will be answered directly to you during the podcast. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's very big news, I think, for us four as well, because we will have to participate, of course, uh, big thanks to Single Malt to initiate this because that's, as I said, unprecedented in every single community, if, I, if, I, if I'm correct. So that's the first thing that's going to happen. Now I will do the remedy in work of uh, tapering what the excitement that, <laughs> that <laughs> Washington has like bestowed that. on us. So <laughs> first of all, uh, this is in the works and it's amazing. I, when I think about it, I realize how far we have come in the very last few months of taking English content from absolutely a desert nothing is happening to a place where the cm and the lead developer are thinking about coming and making this a normal recurrence because french people have the encama lives that requires no translation they get the information directly for us internationals we pretty much had to wait an entire week for a written summary that does not satisfy everyone it gives you the information a bit late and it doesn't give you the whole vibe of the conversation everything behind it the jokes we miss a lot of things by not watching it on camera live and we are thinking of something so ambitious as to balance and equalize the scales so that everyone that does speak english and plays this game has an equal footing equal access to information with everyone that is French and just listens to the Encama Life. Nothing is set in stone, but we're definitely working on it to bring that to light and especially, especially make it a recurring thing. We don't want the flash and bangs of bringing them on one times and be like, pat ourselves in the back, we've done something unprecedented, we're cool, see you later, and then we never have anything like that. We want it to be a scheduled, recurring thing, whether that's a weekly event, bi-weekly, monthly, one of us four will present that conversation depending on availability, and we want it to be a recurring thing. So thank you very much for bringing that to light, Washington. I was sort of hoping we wouldn't say until we had more clarity, but it's the cat is out of the hat now. <laughs> it's gone. It's done. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to announce to everyone is the reason why we have all these plushies is because we have been contacted by Dofus Touch. And I'm going to tell you a quick story. Dofus has a web-based, not web-based, a mobile and tablet-based game that is a sort of... Dofus 1.29 it took a different direction and they are bringing this to the entire world they are advertising for it they have made an english speaking server and what they've asked us for essentially is to support them if we want more people to come to the game in general and we have very gracefully agreed all these four people that you see here will be doing over the next three weeks some community challenges to bring more people in to incentivize more people to join the adventure people who play it to know that there's an english content and an english server and make sure that there's more people that know that dofus the mobile version exists and therefore the actual dofus that we all play also exists so that will increase the size of the pie in general we hope and that's why in that spirit we have agreed to help them publicize it and do things with it. That's a really good question, Sergio. I have absolutely no idea. But that would be an excellent question to ask when we have the community manager and the lead developer. Why are you not publicizing the Office 2.0? Unfortunately, none of us here work for the company. We just make content independently and we've been contacted to give them a hand with the marketing and publicity of things. I can actually answer that like partly. Go on, go on. Um, this is not to divert people from regular game to Dofus Touch. Uh, a lot of you might not know this, but Dofus Touch has like, what, 8 million 
registered players worldwide. So it is already wow. um, a big game. And it is actually advertised as the biggest MMO game on mobile in the world mm -hmm. because of the maps, the equipment, like everything is probably the biggest game. They are just relaunching it and advertising that. And then on top of that, we English creators are going to help them advertising it. When it comes to actual regular dofus, they, I, I feel like, I don't, I didn't get a confirmation, but I got like a vaguely, vaguely answer to it. But what I, what I'm expecting is they will do the same thing when Unity drops. I think when Unity drops, they will worldwide uh, advertise Dofus 2.0. I think I they think, will actually do that. I think it's but gonna be just, a really, really. Yeah groundbreaking change for Dofus in total and the relaunching. I think they taking it as a fresh start and just preparing yeah. everything for it. Uh, so, well, so I can't confirm it, but I just yeah, just yeah, yeah, that's the speculations, of course. Yeah. But uh, from what I see, from what I think, it's uh, that's the path they're going to. And yeah. I'm pretty excited for it. And uh, of course, I want to um, mention that Every one of us are uh, going to be uh, doing some individual streams of Dofus Touch uh, and uh, we'll, well, just come and see what we're doing with that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna For the be next streaming. three weeks, yeah. We will have community yeah. challenges we can't say much about, but they are essentially stepping stones, like reach certain achievement and then the entire community unlocks some sort of cosmetics and things like that. Well, I don't play Dofus Touch myself and I suspect not any, no one here plays Dofus, Dofus Touch out of you three guys. I used to play it though. I, 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 I played a little bit when I was at work and I was very, mm. really, really bored. So it's, um, how can I say it? Uh, uh, from a personal perspective, yes, it's a, it's a bit different. Uh, it's a completely different game from uh, Dofus, but mm. it's kind of the same as well. Uh, mm. So if you love Dofus, but you don't have a computer, you're traveling, you're, something, mm. you're at work, you have only your mobile device or tablet. Yeah. Uh, Keep in mind, this is not an actual advertisement. I'm actually saying from the personal perspective. Yeah, I wanted to play something related to the game that I'm somewhat familiar of, you know. So it's it was pretty okay, but um, but I'm pretty excited to see relaunch of the server because I played a version before, which is right now, and uh, if they relaunch, they're gonna change something completely different. So I'm pretty excited to see what they're gonna change. Yeah. Also, Malt, awesome. to come back to what you just said, you mentioned the upcoming three weeks, but that's only from April onwards, On right? The third of April, yes. Yeah, we have something like upcoming week that's going to be happening tomorrow. But the an, events uh, is going to be, I think, from April third, and then three weeks from yes. that. Yes. They will release a new server that is purely English speaking. We'd love to have that in Dofus 2.0, but we need the player base and viewership for it. And I think, in my position at least, since you've asked Sergio. My position personally, because I don't play the game, I've thought about it from a, a bird's eye view. And here's what I've thought. The global marketing, uh, the blo market share of mobile games is about 50%. So every game you have on console and PC, just about equal what we have for mobile games. So if you have something on mobile, you're reaching more people generally. And if you play a game on mobile, you're more likely to follow the franchise and things like that. So for those of you that play Clash Royale or Clash of Clans, you will have tried other games by uh, uh, Epic or whatever they're called, Supercell. And that's in that spirit I'm thinking about it because mobile reaches more people and that that in itself is publicity for the game that we play. And if they do it yeah. very right after Unity, perhaps if they advertise, then boom, we have a bigger population in Dofus that might warrant having an actual English speaking server with moderators on all the time. How about that for a dream? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... um. Uh, about all this uh, thing, uh, it's pretty, pretty huge step forward mm. uh, for Dofus, especially English community. I think we we joined and we start doing what we do like at exact, like precise time, just before everything changes. So we're just getting warmed up, and if Unity launches and and uh, of course new Dofus Touch servers launch, everything is relaunched. So I think we're real, real on a good path and. It could be a groundbreaking for us, for you guys, and uh, I think it's a big, big, big and good change is waiting for us.
I honestly join you in the optimism, Washington. Thank you for the very nice word. And if all of that does not happen, I'm still going to be playing, doing my dreams, runs, doing my oh, <laughs> questing. Sure. I'll be streaming to the four people that decide to very gracefully tune in and watch my ugly face talk about Ivory and do it it's five times the, the time it takes. But it is how it is. So we take what we get. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a brilliant move in the right direction. And that is why tomorrow I will make the announcement for uh, no, Monday. I will make the announcement for the Dofus Touch thing and then participate in that three weeks uh, challenge. So people who do play the game get to benefit from the cosmetics and things like that. I'm seeing a lot of comment about the um, mobile versus PC. And the last one from Zalfi thinks um, they should make a separate game for mobile instead just play 2.0. I wouldn't be able to say anything about that because I ha I'm not a web developer or a game developer to begin with and I don't know what the difficulty is, like how feasible it is to make a game on PC become a mobile game and things like that. We've got Gluto who's a game developer that could possibly give you ideas but no, nothing that would answer the reality of things for Ankama. And hopefully that's why we want to have Manaya and Papino on so you can ask them these questions because we're just powerless. I have no idea what any of those things yeah. mean. <laughs> why wouldn't a game company want to do that? Like you're saying they sh like uh, self selfie, right? Yeah, mm. they shouldn't make a game on mobile. But keep in mind, it's a, a game company. It doesn't limit itself to PC only. There's multiple game companies that have games on mobile as well. Look at Fortnite. They have Fortnite on mobile as well. You don't have it just on PC. Um, it's like uh, it's like saying to a store that sells skis that they only can sell skis but not the shoes. It doesn't work. Mm. And yeah, so, that's that's like a financial decision for the company. If they are yeah. in the spirit of making money, and let's face it, that's what companies are created for. There is a bigger market share to be captured. They feel this is what I really like is they feel like they have a big claim to make. Uh, and grab a big part of that market by saying we have the biggest MMO, we have the most maps, we have brilliant mm -hmm. characters and things. Like that. So they have a claim that would make them take a piece, a wedge from that pie in general. Yep. And from my perspective, I see that translate only to good things for the office in general. If you play touch on mobile and you want to transition to a PC game and you've already played the office for uh, mobile, then you can just switch to 2.0. It's right there. It's accessible. You know the language, you know the classes might take a bit of effort, but that's what Mr. Black, that's what Washington and Netflix are for. They make guides, how to do this, how to do that, quest fights, gears and stuff like that. Do you guys feel like we've exhausted this topic of announcements? Dofus Touch, Manaya, um, hello Astro. Thing... Oh, Mr. Black, go on. Sorry, I think about the only thing I'd like to add uh, about Touch is it's currently running on Unity, I believe. And me and Eslix actually no had idea. the uh, the chance to join the um, the, the test server, test. Mm -hmm. and essentially we were asked to crash it like quickly as we can, just everyone logging on and just crashing it. Mm -hmm. uh, it took us a while to actually even get onto it, but as soon as we did manage to, all you could see was level up, level up, level up all over the map and there were thousands of people on one map. <laughs> um, but even then, the game still ran mm -hmm. and it was smooth. S smooth. Like, the transitions mm -hmm. between maps really smooth. The actual gameplay itself was really good. That's awesome. So it, it did end up crashing. It took 18 minutes. Um, of of concerted the hard efforts of a group of people spamming things to make it no. crash and it oh, I see. Uh, yeah, thousands keep in mind there were thousands of people time. doing it, right? So Yeah. So I've I've never seen anywhere close to that amount of people on two point Yeah. We were going like, to... logging on just Astrob Zap and it was full. <laughs> yeah. I did catch and then a when few the game glimpses. Got back up, we actually went to the Sunflower Dungeon. We ran it together. There were like hundreds of people running the dungeon. Uh -huh. And the game was insanely smooth. Wow. It was insane. The experience was actually insane. Like, mm. if that's what's going to happen to Dofus when uh, it uh, switches to Unity, then I mm. get uh, high hopes. Yeah, I absolutely think the first question I'm asking uh, Papino when I get a hold of him is, uh, 
do I need to upgrade my graphics card for everything that you're telling me <laughs> or what? <laughs> no, the thing is, I think um, maybe Gluto can one day explain this or Hazel. Hazel's good at this on the Discord. Mm. The, the problem with the lag on Dofus is not your PC. I have uh -huh. a high-end gaming PC. I can run Fortnite max graphics, 400 FPS, right? Uh -huh. But I lag in Dofus when I play two accounts. But that's uh -huh. not due to my PC. It's just because Dofus is running on Flash. And Unity should be able to fix that. You don't need a higher-end PC um, for that. It's just... If you have a good PC now, or even like an average PC... Mm -hmm. It will Should only okay. get better and it will not get worse. Uh, th there's a question on the chat. Do you think that fluidity you guys are describing now, maybe is it not due to the engine on which Dofus Touch is running? Maybe it's due to the fact that uh, content creators are allowed to use emulators, so you're using a powerhouse of a PC to run a mobile game. I don't know. I think uh, most, most mobile phones these days and tablets, mm. they have pretty high hardware as well. True. So and it's it's just Dofu. It's not Fortnite. It's Dofu. So I would say mm. even on phones, it should run like insanely smooth as well. As well. Mm -hmm. And on tablets, even better because they have better hardware inside. I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that remains to be tested, uh, Sergio Osa. If you want to try that, uh, you can definitely get a feel for it right now yourself. Phone and um, emulator, but beware, they have a clear and strict position on emulators. They are forbidden. They make special concessions and allowances for people who will um, create content. But we also have to make special um, me take special measures to hide the mouse and keyboard because it's not allowed. It's just because we don't play the Office Touch that we're allowed to sort of use that because of marketing and whatever, whatever. So I hope that clarifies and answers your question. And hello, Hitu. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome yeah, to the yes, chat. We're, we're just the messengers, uh, so yeah. uh, we're here to uh, tell you what's good, what's bad, and uh, you all, always happening. get your own opinions. Yeah, generally, this is what is happening. We, uh, and yeah. I actually have a video planned um, where I go over all of the classes for you, for Touch because they are totally different from the 2.0 classes. They uh, don't have spell variants. So it works a little bit like before we had spell variants. How many years is that even ago? Like what, six, eight years ago? Um, so it, it looks like uh, old school 2.0, but all these spells also have like special additions, which is really interesting. Yeah, there is no Elio it. on touch, right? There we have, there, there's no Elio, Ujinak, Hupper Mage and Forge Lance. There's only 15 classes. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. It is a completely different game. We should say that and repeat that. And I will certainly do that when I will be doing my community challenge for yeah. people who watch my videos, come to my streams, and would like to have some better cosmetics. Because I've never been in a position to give cosmetics to the community. So <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> if I can uh, I will not I will not be making uh any tier list videos anymore. So because <laughs> you know you know who's gonna go to China. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit the china guy is already there <laughs> yeah. uh oh so they don't have 13 astro. classes they only have 12. <laughs> uh, astro asked do you eat in bed i eat everywhere my guy I eat everywhere. <laughs> but what you can see in the background there's like um there's only drinks there because i need to hydrate myself pretty pretty often so there's a packs of uh, juice and uh, something else yeah but that's only drinks Bad content reveal. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> There's a chicken There's nugget a or a cat, depending on your perspective. <laughs> chicken, chicken tender. <laughs> the tiger. <laughs> tiger. Right. Uh, guys, I wanted to pose one question. I'm also conscious of time. We've only got about 25 minutes left before Mr. Black needs to go sleep after the sun is already up in his country. Uh, the question I have picked up from uh, asking people on the Discord, and given that there was only one reply, I will gracefully accept that question and promote it, so that is the only one that gets asked today, and it was from Gluto. So, people who watch veterans, people who play the game for ages, make easy decisions about gear, and we do have little quarrels, me and Aslix every now and then, about should the Krabby 11 or 12 AP, but essentially, if we were to start in a new 
uh, server tomorrow? How would we make our decisions? What gears would we go for? What sorts of meta items? So I guess the question is asking how do you think about what gear you choose for which client or which account or which character? Would anyone like to pick the question how they think about gear? Is it a solved question for you? You know exactly which character, which gear you're going for? Or how does it work in your heads? I can answer that partly based on Let's my go. Iron Man experience, maybe. Sure. Honestly, early game, it doesn't matter what you're running. It's less, if you're starting from scratch or starting yeah. over like as a new or returning player, if you literally just play the game, do achievements and questing, you will get so many materials. You can just go to your bank and just look at what you can craft and craft that. And it literally will cost you nothing. You can save your commas for later. And then when you're like between level 60 and 80, and you can maybe look at, okay, what, what actual sets am I going to get? Maybe like a, um, one of like the new equipment that had like an AP set bonus, something like that. But other than that, it's mostly custom parts. There's not really like a full set or anything. You usually just mix and match parts, see what works best for your class. But you don't really have to look at stuff like resistance, crits, or whatever. Just mm -hmm. damage and vitality, basically. Gotcha. I think it's only after like what 150 when you get the new the good trophies and such uh, you are starting to look at more like combinations and look at like um, am I going with full set and uh, not benefit from the trophies or am I going to go with a two piece set bonus so I can get the AP and MP trophies such such like that but other than that before that you don't have to worry about it. Uh, can I ask I, you to do the same thing but for level 200 which I think was the spirit in which the question was asked because all of our quarrels are about level 200 sets and it's obvious to me why I chose the things I chose and it's obvious to you why you play 12-6 but would you be able to do the same for level 200 standard as well now that you've given us uh, sub 200? I mean is if the the question was more of like how do you determine what kind of sets you pick right yeah. if you don't have the uh, knowledge is it predetermined in your head or how does it work for you? Do you have classes well, if, and sets? If I have to like remove all of the info from my head that I have and I would mm. be like okay, looking at, okay, I have a level 200 character. Let's just hypothetically say I have two mil, 200 mil. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what, what gear am I going to pick? I would first like the element you want to choose is just based on personal preparation. What build do you like? Right. That's your preference. One. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pure preference per personal preference uh -huh, uh -huh. then you look at what is available what is cheap what is ex expensive mm -hmm. um i would i mean it's it's really difficult because of the amount of equipment that's available like so you have, other, let, yeah. let, if you for example want to go agility there's probably like 20 agility sets out there mm -hmm. where you can choose between right mm. so i would see where people struggle with that that it's super hard to like figure out something. Yeah. But I would just probably look at like the set bonus to see what gives an AP, what gives like. I, personally, I think crits are really valuable. Mm -hmm. Sets with high crits. And That's then just awesome. maximize the damage. Like get items that have like 80 or 90 stats instead of 50. Like just. Let me phrase the question differently and then go back to you, Eslix, uh, for the end. Mm -hmm. What is your most meta set? The, the set that you consider the most meta that you will aim for, Mr. Black, if you were to start in a new server and reach level 200 on your main account, what set are you aiming for? The most meta set for you? Okay, most so, you're saying on my so you're saying on my main account? Yeah. Which current? Okay, so especially with a Sadi. There is so many different avenues you can take, mm -hmm. and each of their play styles completely change. Mm -hmm. Where with, with a Kra, it as an example, it is you are going to be looking at long range, high amounts of damage. With a Sadi, on the other hand, you have got MP reduction to really take into account. Okay, class dependent. So, yeah, very very class dependent. Mm. On my Sadi, if I was to just pick one single set. Mm -hmm. That is going to kind of do a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. um, the is it Wu Kin or is it Wu Kang? Uh, Wu Kin, I think. Is it like the paper one, the white one? The, the white yeah, one. Yeah, the mm. strength agility. Because mm. you know? mm -hmm. it it does have it's not a massive amount of damage on it, but it it is there, and the MP mm -hmm. reduction is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as an all round kind of generalized 
set for a saddie. That mm -hmm. mixed with a bit of corruption um, is is brilliant. But if if I was if it wasn't a complete meta set, mm -hmm. the sets I would actually really be looking at for really good budget, cheaper sets, which are absolutely fantastic even to this day, is mm -hmm. Alistair. Mm -hmm. um, is it Danathor? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, uh, the previous nice no, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and then of course coming out in the like even. I think it might have even been earlier than them or just after it around that time was is no Nomara, mm -hmm. Nomara. classic pure classic washington do you have any meta sets that if you were to start in a new server you have your eyes set on as a standard to reach um i have to skip on this question because all my all my everything i do right now is pretty much harman or uh dreams but mm. dreams, you know, you have to have specific things uh, mm. that are decided not specifically by me, but, you know, by the community and the researchers that actually did some stuff. So since I, I have experience of playing to level 200 characters, but uh, the game took me with the Iron Man, personal Iron Man challenge that they, I am actually interested in, you know. And mm. if I was level 200 right now, Mm -hmm. Le leached or whatsoever it doesn't matter I couldn't tell you I couldn't answer you because I wasn't paying that much attention and that much passion I, I didn't put that, that much passion into the uh, researching the metas for myself yeah. or what yeah, I yeah, like yeah. to play you know I was mm -hmm. just playing mm -hmm. but uh, I'm an Ironman I, I'm not uh, end game yet so I cannot answer you for sure that's a lie you, you've just done mrs freeze and nileza over the last three days what are you on about <laughs> you don't need to be level 200 to be end game as you've established <laughs> that's what i want to prove to everybody but uh, but yeah uh the question itself is pretty hard for me because i change sets i have like uh, five or six uh, set set options for my zealer that mm. they change for the uh, Single solo quest fights. Uh, I have uh, my chance set, which uh, with a uh, health regeneration and uh, life steal. Mm -hmm. uh, for other fights, I have other sets and combinations. So it's it's very hard to choose for me personally. That's why I want to skip out because I wouldn't give a definite answer to that, and I can't gotcha. just mislead the people. Uh, yeah. It makes sense. It is an answer in itself. You've answered the question. Slix, I promise to come back to you. Uh, for your main account, do you have a meta set that you need to reach in order to feel comfortable, like the golden standard for you, for what a set that is complete for your main character, for, I don't know, Panda or Kra, whatever? Omnicrit. Omnicrit, I got you. That's yeah, mm. but like, <clears throat> like Mr. Black also said, it is highly dependent on the class. Like, there are classes, for example, Rogue doesn't benefit from Omnicrit because it it doesn't affect the bomb walls, the for bomb. example, right? Mm. Osa, Osa doesn't then ben Osa doesn't benefit from it. Sadi doesn't benefit from it. Mm. Uh, Srem doesn't benefit from it with the traps. Yeah, um, the crits. That's it. Yeah, so. It is really class dependent, and like I said, if you if you are a new or returning player, you lease the 200, you will most likely find yourself asking in a Discord, "What the hell am I it's doing here? Best. What set yeah. do I need to get?" Right? Yeah. It's not not the way. You need to actually just play the game. Mm. Learn first of learn your class, learn the builds that are available, and then mm. when you reach 200, you know you know what to look for, right? Because <laughs> if you're playing a pen pen oh no a sadie from one to two hundred, you know what the sadie needs. Yes, the very. I am a rogue spells. hater. Yes, no, mm. I'm a, more an osa hater. <laughs> I'm more of, Take that, uh, Sergio. <laughs> I, I I don't know who watched my stream yesterday, but I was kind of a xilor hater yesterday, because every single fight that I did, the xilor was the one that that came out with the lowest HP. And then if there was one character that died, it was the Xelar. <laughs> Take that, Gluto. But I still hate the Osa more than the Xelar. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I don't want yeah, this to turn I... into what classes you hate. Let's stay on the sets. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, saying um, like certain sets for certain characters, an, an Omni Crit Sadi mm -hmm. with everything infected and bushfire. Mm-hmm. It is mm. absolutely fantastic. It's like a mini old tormenting arrow. Yeah. Ooh, 
Oh, double if liner. You, if you have to take it's one set, then Omnicrit is the best, yeah. Yeah, I'll it have will I'll... work for most classes, regardless I'm... of the build, but... Yeah. By the way, Mr. Black, because I know you haven't uh, engaged with the beta, the new Torment in Arrow is back to what it was, with the exception of the elements oh. changed. So you can cast it twice, only linear, but it's strength and chance, sadly. And as we've established over a couple of hours conversation on Discord, just on a live voice chat, there are no great strength, chance sets that rise up to the occasion, so you can play your crowd that way and benefit from that spell. Sadly, Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, I, Alan has. I missed gone. that one. You missed that spell. Yeah, I, I missed that old tormenting. It was yeah. brilliant. In King and Queen, you deal two thousand five hundred, six hundred damage with three AP. Mm -hmm. My God! And then you got fulminating. That's going to crit. <laughs> oh, it has been nerfed however in my video I've talked about that specific little subtle change it felt like HMRC changing something about the tax code that not many people feel but it is a big nerf so they've changed the max accumulation effect from 4 to 5 so if you're doing king and queen you could hit 5 the 5th character would also get scale damage now it's no longer the case it tapers at 4 so 5 going down to 4, that's minus 20%. But in effect, it's a 25% nerf because that represents 4 changes, yeah. 4 chains, and you've lost the 5th one. So you've lost a quarter of the damage it deals now. So it's like a 25% nerf of the maximum theoretical damage it could cause. Uh, I picked up I a comment on the chat awesome. from uh, Alan that mentioned that we shouldn't be really discussing this until the patch. I wanted to ask you, Icelix, about this because we've had a conversation about this before. In the change log, they've put some uh, set bonus changes, but they've removed them. Does mm -hmm. that mean this update, 271, there's nothing changing about sets? Am Correct. I right in thinking that? Yep. Also, we don't know when this change is going to be. And also, I doubt they will be uh, um, as they were leaked. Like, everyone's asking about the 20, what was it, 20 or 25% crit on the Jimmy Jack, Jack set. Yeah. Guys, do you really think Ankama will do that? They they nerfed Nomero because Nomero, is, Nomero and Threadforce were, were both nerfed because it's the most used set and yeah. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Jack Alistair combo is probably one of the most used set combos as well. Yeah. You really think they will buff it? No way. They will not do no. it. Highly doubt it. Honestly, it doesn't need it. I honestly feel like the chance of them adding AP and MP trans runes is higher than them adding 25% crit on the uh, set bonus. You guys can clip it right now, by the way. <laughs> You've heard the man. <laughs> wow. That yeah. was like, it sounded personal to Alan, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, so, I wanted to end the topic. I'm really sorry, Alan, but I, that was how I've planned it, for it to be fun, light and airy, and at the same time, capture the essence of our thoughts about a topic that may or may not materialize. A lot of you are doubting the connection between Alan and the next topic means that we are going to talk for the last 10 minutes. I want every single one of you three to give me their personal opinion as honest as you can be about an mp and an ap and the range rune that is like a transcendence runes give me all your thoughts are you okay with that coming into the game do you think it's gonna ruin dofus 2.0 and nobody's gonna play any give me everything as honest as you can possibly do and i feel like the person with the most feelings about this is eslick so we're gonna leave him for last <laughs> yeah <do> that, yeah. <laughs> uh washington we haven't heard from you for a while <laughs> okay okay uh, i have a few different opinions about that let's uh, hear it all first of all um first of all as i as i'm doing dreams and what there was like a leaked in in quotes uh picture that it's uh the trans rune uh ap will appear in uh Purple Narcus, Narcis, I think, those chests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good for the Dream Runners to earn more and more and more money because it, and it will make much more expensive and uh, it can blast the market. Mm -hmm. However, though, I would not agree with that because that could mess up the Maging community because Maging, uh, as having a skill set and a pure luck, is what keeping it, you know... Uh, specific for the person to learn that you know it's not like oh you buy it you do you just put a trans rune 100 percent on your whatever item that's it no it has it needs skill it needs luck and it's the actually hard work that 
it's one of the it's one of those um, aspects of the game that you have to actually put hard work and yeah and i think that's very very important for the major community especially and for fun as well so that's awesome i could not agree if more you get paid but, by alan now hold that's what i was going to ask we haven't gotten a clear definitive opinion about you iron man do you want these things to come do you not want them to come you've given us an analysis a laid back one it's going to increase the price of this and upset these people boom i'm done no 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 tell us <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. would you like to see them come to the game as a dream runner or do you not want to see it come to the game or do yeah, you not want to upset I, anyone I get you <laughs> nah, I know what you mean mm. dreams are just fun to me you know uh, I can get uh, that money from uh, doing more runs and hopefully pulling a jahash you know but uh, as for uh, Iron Man aspect I would like to keep it as a uh, chance and luck I mean, a little bit of skill and mm. a big luck uh, portion because okay. that would uh, challenge me more as an Iron Man, you know, because, oh, I have 20 AP runes. Okay. I, I failed to do that. Shit. I, now I have to grind again to make uh, more more items and grind them to get more AP runes, you know, and try again instead of uh, just getting the, that trans rune and just applying it and boom, done. Now, I just want that aspect in my RMN team so I can have a luck and a little bit of skill and I can learn Mage properly and I can get that satisfaction of uh, landing the EXO uh, item. Awesome. Yeah. Just between parentheses, I wanted to say before we carry on and get the other guys' opinion, there was a troll post that may manufacture an image to make it look like it was coming on the next update. It is not the case. We haven't gotten any official confirmation and I'll leave it at that. There's absolutely nothing official to confirm that they want to bring this. And I can even go further during the Ankama Live that I've translated for um, the office. Um, they said they've asked the lady who brought those runes into the beta. She clearly said, guys, this is only in the beta. It's not coming to the game, it's only in the beta. So if it were to change in the future, we don't know about it now. That's all I'm saying. It's all speculation as far as we're concerned. I'm conscious there is not much time left to go. So, Mr. Black, do you want to give us your opinion on the arrival of these hypothetical runes and how they will change things? We could definitely kiss the market goodbye uh, to start with. Um, obviously, yeah, or anyone that does do maging, even though it sounds like such a good idea to have all of this stuff possible, mm -hmm. it wouldn't work. So but what I think would potentially work mm -hmm. is a rune, a trans rune that only lands if that item can already have that stat on it, if they already have an AP or an MP. If, for example, if you're maging a, uh, let's just say a, a Kralo, Carla Manson, mm -hmm. and you knock off the AP, you're going to mm -hmm. use that sync, get the rest of your stats perfect, and then be able to use that AP trans rune ah, to put that AP back on. A different kind of trans, but only for stats yeah. that already exist on the item. Yeah, and where mm. you can't go over the max. I see. No, I so you wouldn't be able to put a second AP on. I see. Hold on, Slicks. I know you have the most feelings about the topic, but we want to hear. If Mr. Black, have you given us everything you have? Is that your vision? You want a trans rune that is different from the way it, they usually work now? I still don't think it would work. But if they were going to do it, at least something like that wouldn't put out literally thousands of extra exos. Mm. In, the sp in the space of a couple of weeks because that's, that's what would happen yeah deal I, the moment we've all been dreading Eslix is about to give us a long rant and a strong yeah. worded yeah. opinion about <laughs> AP and MP trans so Alan trigger warning you might want to go make a tea or a drink of some sort right now and come back after Eslix is finished <laughs> and I you can the floor. still hear I will just be back in two seconds but I'm cool, still cool, listening cool. the floor is yours yeah. Eslix give us all your thoughts so and I First of all, I want to address two points that Mr. Black said. This, uh, the second point of him was like, um, there would be thousands of extra exos within the first weeks. Well, first of all, <laughs> the drop rate will, would be so low that 
there won't be thousands of APXOs or MPXs in the game, right? It's just a couple only. Like, how many people are dropping Jahash, for example? There's not many people. Um, I'm going to stay out one. of this one. <laughs> and the other one was... Oh, yeah, about the um, the other trends in this room. Well, there's people who try to make, like, perfect items, right? They, uh, like, Alan... Uh, no, what Sevi was doing, like, the other day and today... Like dropping the AP, get perfect stats, and then try to put it back on, right? Mm -hmm. If, um, and then it, maybe even with Overmage Fit, right? If that lands, those items are going to be worth like 20, 40 mil right now, right? But if they are going to do that using AP Transcendence runes, then what's the point of getting those items, right? The value would drop drastically and Macing would be worthless. Mm. So you see it as a force that will devalue Majin as opposed to give it yeah. more value because it, they're I'll, presumably going to be costly, the runes. I would say that might be even worse or just equally worse and than just normal AP MP transfer. Mm. That's just my thought. Actually, that's a really good point. You've changed the way I thought about something by bringing to light the fact of the devaluing. If you go to the market right now and you find something that is already tranced, 2% mm -hmm. air or whatever, any trans rune, it's lower value than a good stat item that is not trans, just because you lose the ability to mage it. But is that attributable to that line that stops you maging, or is it the rune that is on it, the AP, MP, or 2%? Yeah, it's not the, if they, it's not the, the fact that they don't, they can't be maged that this, that loses value, it's the fact that they usually are 2% uh, resistance. Mm -hmm. um, if you are really into PvPing, uh, like these days, the meta is usually like Vitality Overmage, right? Yes. But back then you had like Resistance Overmages. Um, the 2% ones, those are like people who just got into PvP and... Uh, what was it? 2%? Yeah. They put 2% arrest on an item that isn't even max stats. And then, yeah, of course, <laughs> it loses value because people might want like 3%, 4%, which you can't get uh, using Transcendence Runes. Yeah, I agree, but even if you put a 2% on a perf jahash, it's not worth as much as a normal jahash that isn't perf. Yeah, because who wants a 2% res on a jahash? People mm. want maybe 1% spell damage or range damage or 2% crit, something like that. So essentially, it's the stat that you trans on yeah. the item the for you that determines worse, the because price. Because if I'm, if I'm going to mm. now look up uh, the jahash, where is this? Um, there's one... <laughs> A good example, look at this. Uh, 91.5 million, the cheapest in market, has 1% range resistance on it. And Oof. the person who... And look at this, the person who put it has 71 power. So not even eight, not, not even 80 <laughs> power, no, 71, and they just smack a transcendence run on it. Like, come on, guys. Why? They missed the chance to put 400 pods. Uh, that's the only thing I'll say about that. But there's an excellent yeah. counterpoint from Alan, is that uh, what we know now will not help us properly understand the future if it were to come true. And I insist if it were to come true. Because the value of an AP or an MP is not the same as resistance, percentage damage. They're more sought out after as stats than any other one in the game. But yeah, I feel like we've exhausted uh, the whole tour of the house. Uh, do you guys feel like there was something unanswered? We are literally at the two hour mark and I've promised the guys that I would not keep it any longer, especially Mr. Black for whom this is four and a half a.m. or something ridiculous like that. <laughs> so one, one quick, quick thing. Quick thing that just, uh, like, I just remember that. I am, if they ever gonna add those AP and MP transcendence rune, hypothetically they add it in the big chest for 1% drop, I don't think it will affect the exos in the market, because first of all, the price of the new rune would be so insanely expensive, like uh, talking about 30 to f maybe 100 mil, right, because mm -hmm. of the low drop rate mm -hmm. and the big chest, that the normal exos, it would still be cheaper to make those, and they will probably still be maged. People would still be using normal AP runes instead of the Transcendence runes. <laughs> okay. One percent is high, maybe. Let's just make it the same mm. drop rate as Jahaz then, probably. Yeah. But um, and the and the people who actually do use the runes, they are not going to put it in the market for less than twenty mil because the runes are expensive. So why would you still need to mage perfect stats, right? So yeah. I don't, I don't think, I, I feel like, I don't know.
Right. I don't think it will affect too much. I, I think feel like we've covered you... this. <laughs> Do you still have something you want to say, Aslix, or is it just right no, 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 no. at this I'm good. point? <laughs> I just made some nice item. <laughs> so we've got everything out of the in the clear. You guys know that we have some um, upcoming news to do with Dofus Touch, which will be from the 3rd of April. We'll make an announcement on Monday. And on the 3rd of April, a new server will be created for this entirely different game on mobile. We will play it for three weeks. If you want to join us, just to watch us play it and how we react to it, we are more than welcome and we'd actually appreciate your presence. Uh, if not, that's absolutely understandable. I don't want to force anyone. I, I, I should hope that nobody is here out of the 37 people by force today. <laughs> so I'll keep it like that. The other thing is I wanted to remind people who are here with us that we have actually set up a community discord that is a different culture altogether from anything we've ever seen. It's based around helping each other, being nice, having a laugh, nothing negative. And this is the space we've created. It is growing in numbers and we would love for you to come and enrich it with us and help us make it a better place with your ideas whatever they may be we have people who made bots all of a sudden that can help the entire community i've been adding boss mechanics sets so anything that you know about that people can benefit from generally you're welcome to come and enrich this asset that we're building within reason of course we don't want to ask you for free work or anything like that and i wanted to ask finish on a very last simple question one answer first thing that pops your mind like a quick fire round you guys are used to it uh, it's a question from Flammable, who I want to say thank you for their participation in the Discord and being present in voice chat and everything. So I've thought to end with that. It's a peculiar question, I've never heard anything like it. But if you guys, all of a sudden in a miraculous world, were to be transported to live inside the game, tomorrow you woke up, where are you buying a house? Where do you want to live in the game? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Washington. <laughs> Doth Village. Oh, let's go. Can you tell us why? That's amazing. You had that ready. <laughs> I don't know. I I feel the nature aspect is very nice. And ah, really nice. the tree, the oxygen quality. My God, yeah, Iron Man, your lungs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Black? <laughs> There's only ever one city I would ever live in. Which and one? That is Brack. Let's go. I like that. Why, why is that? Can you tell us more? <laughs> uh, Bonter just, yeah. Too bright. Uh, very, very old, very, very old school. <laughs> so it was back when the PvP was literally Brack versus Bonta. You'd have your um your scrolls to hunt people down. I was mm. Bonta for a uh, Brack forever. Nice, nice, nice. Aslix, where are you living? And yes, low gas prices. <laughs> low gas prices. Because <laughs> you're burning people all the time. I see, I see. <laughs> Aslix, where are you living? Uh, Snowbound Village. Ooh. Ooh, now you gotta tell us why that is original as heck. I will be neighbors with Sevi. <laughs> oh, the biggest house in the game. <laughs> yeah, That's that adorable. <laughs> You've got someone to mage your gear for life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Quality maging, yeah, yeah. For me, it will have to be Sufokia because i oh. love living by the water the sound of the rustling mm. of it going around and i can That's just from my window fish and catch lunch or dinner <laughs> <laughs> yeah i hope nice you guys one. have enjoyed unless we have any more questions in the chat or unless you guys have any pen pent up thoughts that you haven't released out in the air anything that you're keeping to yourself this is the time i'll give you five seconds anything anyone if anything, I just want to say to people to get into this giveaway. Yeah. Um, sure. Be. That is that is uh, a thought in itself. I will ha I will relink it in the chat. There is a giveaway coming up for Mr. Black for his birthday to commemorate the one year of content creation and also his birthday. So it's a double whammy. There's a prize pool of at least 150 million commas. Get yourself on some of that goodness. The link is in the description. Well, in the comment section. Go and watch it if you want to participate. Anything from chat? I can't see anything from chat. I that's think that's it. I will do my usual spiel. The socials down there if you want to join us. If you like the sound of the Discord channel that we have created for the entire English slash international community, please do join us. 
uh, we would love to have more richness, more conversation, more knowledge baked into that Discord. And also, uh, after this, after I will swap to, I will take a quick five minute break, but I will return and have a little session with uh, Sevi where we will make some more items and I will carry on with my Ivy request. But I think the guys are gonna leave it at that. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for being here, all three of you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mate. Thank you for uh, another thank one. Thank you again, guys. And hopefully the I next one. I will stick one. around in the Discord for tonight during your stream, though. Sure, 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 sure. And hopefully the next time we congregate on the 29th of March, we will have some absolutely banger news for everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here, everyone. I will take a quick five minute break and then we shall resume. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful Cheers, evening. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.